Welcome to Crystal Info Co. UK Get Going Guides. This time we're going to be looking at how do you make an iTunes podcast uh, on your computer. Uh, it's very simple, but you need to get your hands dirty with a little bit of code. This uh, tutorial will deal with how do you uh, work with the code and where do you place it. At the moment, we've assuming that you've created all the products that you want to put on your podcast. It could be uh, a video file in an MPEG-4 format is probably the best, or Apple's MPEG-4 uh, V version, which is M4V, uh, which I tend to use, uh, or uh, uh, an MPEG-3 audio file or a PDF. You need to place it on your server, so you need a piece of software uh, like. Uh, Cyberduck, which is an FTP software, anyone will do. Uh, and all you do is you get your video and you just drag it into place uh, on your web server wherever you want it to go. So these are all, or some of the files that I've got running uh, videos uh, for my podcasts uh, down here. So once you've uploaded it all, uh, you then need to get a bit of code. On chrislinfoco.uk, you can download this. XML file. Uh, you can download a PDF file from this iTunes file, but you'd need to convert it into an XML file depending on how you'd like to do that. But if you want to download the code, uh, here's the file. We need to open it in a code editing program, which is preferable. You can do it in any word processing package like Word, but uh, a specialist code package is generally a little bit easier. Uh, I use a program called Text Wrangler and it's a free piece of software you can just download so if you go to barebones.com or just google text wrangler you'll find a page where you can just download it for your operating system so let's open this in text wrangler and this is a code that you'll see uh, i've put lots of uh, information uh, on there so that you can uh, find out what each bit of the code does uh, and won't affect the operation. Uh, so they're in light grey. In blue are all the codes that we need uh, to add information to. So the first bit of code, like an HTML page, is we need to tell it it's an XML document and then we need to say it's going to have an RSS feed uh, and it's going to be to iTunes so we use the iTunes document type definitions uh, which tell it what uh, to do and where to place it on the page. So then we have our channel code, which is where we open up all the information for our uh, podcast. So at the moment, we're going to start making the podcast channel, and which then we can start to put episodes in, which is the content that you can download from the podcast. So first thing is you need to put in the title of what you want your podcast to be. So if we have a look at uh, iTunes, this is it. So the title of my podcast will be Chris Linford Get Going Guides. Then we need to place a description. So we just put cursor in between there and type in some descriptions. This tells people what your podcast is about and again this applies to this piece of text around here uh, and you can change it later on uh, if you want. So then you need to put a link to your website which is very useful so uh, people can go and find it. So if you want to download this file, you can click on website and it will take you to uh, the main interface and just go to the Get Going Guides and uh, download the file from there. There'll be a description up here which will tell you uh, the URL specifically just for that download. Then we can put in the copyright information. Who owns the copyright? So the copyright uh, would, would be me. And I've put a little bit of information here if you want to go to a uh, website where there's a bit more code uh, that you can play with uh, or you lose a bit of code you can just click on that and go there. Then we say what language it is and we're going to use English uh, in a British version. Then it's useful to know when you built this site, it's useful for copyright and iTunes needs this information. So what day it is, uh, three letter version of the day and then two numbers for the day, uh, the number of the day and then the month and then the year and then you can insert a time that uh, you created it and if I'm on British summer time then it's plus one hours off of Greenwich mean time. Then you might publish it on a different day so you put different information in or the same information if you're doing it all at the same time. So this is your general uh, XML uh, data. Now we get into bespoke iTunes stuff so this is stuff iTunes uh, likes to work with. So there we have uh, a subtitle uh, for your file 
and what this does is it allows you to put in a, a different title once people subscribe so I, I use the same title uh, for mine so once you subscribe to it you get a, a file like this and you can have a different title uh, up there uh, if you prefer you can then put in a summary which is again is different text once you subscribe to it to summarize what your uh, podcast is doing so um, here I've got this easy to follow uh, information so it just comes up uh, some shows it's different to the main site uh, so on so uh, you can just put different information in different places to help people find the right piece of code and then you have a summary uh, describe uh, uh, your sub your site and what it will do and what categories you want it to be searched into so I'm using education technology and arts and you can just look at the iTunes site for all their different categories uh, there then because iTunes uses a search engine we can put in keywords uh, that we think people will search for put a comma between each of the words uh, to add to it and then you can write the author name so people can search for the author name it might uh, be a main author for the main site and different authors for the content and then details of who the owner is so here we have all the owner information which if something's going wrong uh, or iTunes don't like your site or want to do something with it they can email you and have contact details uh, and so you write your email uh, into there and then you write your name uh, there and that's just a little section just for the owner and then on your iTunes you have an icon uh, on it so uh, when people get to the store they see an icon and it can uh, give a, a visual guide to it so you need to there put in where it is on your web server uh, that you're putting it so my one is slightly out of my uh, server I have a folder called images and in there I will have my icon uh, for uh, the site so you just put in the URL uh, for that uh, with an HFC code then you need to know whether this site's going to have any explicit data or not uh, mine doesn't so I will just type no so that's your main podcast site information then we can start putting information for each individual episode so when you register with iTunes you need to have at least one episode uploading to make sure it's all working so episode content starts here your episode is called an item uh, I always like to leave a note for myself to say this is the first webcast and a bit of information on what that webcast is just because I might not come back to it for a few months uh, but it, and it, if I want to change it, it I can find the one very easily or if somebody else is working on the site they can find it very easy so then what is the title of this episode so again this is like setting up your podcast again the title for each episode will go in there and then you can have a description for each episode so if we look back at the podcast these are the titles and this is the description uh, that goes there and if you click on it you get a bit more information uh, for you so you can write a fair bit and then you need to say where is this file being kept on your web server so this is where you put in the actual uh, URL for your videos so my name video tutorial into video tutorials and in resources I would need to put the URL for all those uh, files then you, in here it gives a bit of information on the location uh, of the episode so again you're putting a bit more information but the same so again you put the same URL into that place you then put the length of the file uh, there and uh, you can enter it in seconds and then the file type uh, that you want there so what I've got a bit of information here there's three different types of file you can put on there if it's an MPEG 3 you type audio MPEG in between the uh, commas if you've got a video you type video slash and then X the name of the video format so I'm using M4V uh, or if it's a PDF file you just write application slash PDF and that tells uh, the program what kind of file type it is within the enclosure and then we again we need to put the location of the file to show that it's a permanent link so we just click there and paste in the HTTP uh, 
of the link there. Then again we put the information that we want for the uh, date that we're publishing it. Then we could put in a subtitle. Again, once people have subscribed, you can give them a little bit more information and provide them with a subtitle, and you can give them a slightly different summary uh, within the uh, subscription site as well. And here you can put in the length uh, of your file again, which appears on the subscription section, and which needs to be two numbers uh, and then two numbers uh, for the duration. And then keywords for each individual uh, title, and then the author of each individual episode uh, and each one is it explicit so you could have some uh, content that is explicit and some content that isn't and then we close the item and then at the end we close the channel and then we close the RSS feed now if you want to add a new uh, episode to it all you do is copy all the item information just copy that and and go to the end of it, create a new line and then paste a new item into it and just enter the new information for each and every episode uh, you want to create. And you can just create more and more of them as and when you want. So what we then need to do is to put it on our server. So what we do is save it. So I'm going to save this as TextBasic2. Uh, and it's going to be an XML file and I'm going to save it there so let's close that down and there's my file and then what I need to do is to just drag this over where I want to keep the XML file and I need to remember the uh, address for this and I just drag it over and it will then copy it into the folder that's complete and if I scroll down we'll be able to see it uh, here. So then it's already installed on our server and we're ready to go. Next podcast will be what to do with this information and to register all this information with iTunes uh, and so that we can create a podcast. So if you need more information go to chrislinfordco.uk you can see this on uh, YouTube, on my website or on iTunes.